What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So it is that time of the month again and we need to talk about social security and the cost of living adjustment. So here's what we know. The new CPI report came out this week and with the new report comes the projection for social security's cost of living adjustment for 2023. This is some good news, but also some bad news. I wanna address what's going on, give you the full picture, because there's a lot of rumors, there's speculation, there's 20% increases, there's 10% increases, but again, I wanna fill you in on the truth of what's actually coming to you. So make sure you stick around for this entire video. Also, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button, it really does help out the channel, and feel free to share this video with your friends and family over on Facebook so they too know what's going on. Now, I wanna really take the time and address what's happening because some of the projections are really getting out of hand. I've seen reports over the past few days that the 2023 cost of living adjustment will be upwards of 20 to 25%. That is a quarter of what people are getting now in an additional boost. The current average is about $1,668. Well, a quarter of that, you're looking at over $400. That would take you up to $2,000 a month. That's a huge increase. Now, if this were to happen, we would need to see inflation more than double because right now, inflation, okay, the, the CPIU, which is different than CPIW, that's at 9.1%. But I'm gonna address the CPIW, what that is, and why you need to know both of these numbers. Because again, most people only know one number, which is the 9.1%. But for seniors, the, co the, the CPI, the consumer price index that they go up over for uh, the cost of living adjustment, that's actually higher. That's almost 10%. So I'll address that in just a minute. But we've also seen articles from economists uh, all across the United States that are predicting that the cost of living adjustment in 2023 is going to be between 10 and 12%. But who's right? Because obviously these numbers are very different. 10 to 12% versus 20 to 25%. Well, let's discuss that. Currently, the expectation is that the cost of living adjustment for 2023 will be 10.5%. 10.5, still a decent number, a okay, much better than the 5.9% that we got in 2022. But here's what I can tell you. According to the Senior Citizens League, they are saying that if this is the case and we do see 10.5%, that number is going to equate to about $175 per month as a boost. Now again, it's a huge difference from the 20%. The 20%, that would give you about a $333 per month boost. Again, that is something that I honestly don't think is on the table. And I'll explain why in a minute. Now, what many people don't realize is that the actual inflation report that just came out at 9.1%, this isn't the number that the cost of living adjustment will even go off of. The actual CPI report is called the CPIW, which is the, it stands for the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers. This is CPIW. Now, in this month, the CPIW rose by 9.8%. So a little bit higher than the 9.1% from the Consumer Price Index for all urban uh, consumers. Now, I want you to keep something else in mind. The cost of the adjustment is not determined by all of the uh, you know, inflation or all of, of our CPI reports for the entire year of 2022. No, it goes off of just the third quarter of this year, which means July, August, and September. As of right now, the expectation is that the cost of the adjustment would range from 9.8% to 11.4. This increase would mean between $163 and $190 every single month. That's very important to know. Now, the last thing that you need to know, and again, a lot of these reports are coming out. Some of this is false information, so I really wanna fill you in on what's happening. But historically, we have seen that inflation comes down in July, August, and September. Now, why is that? 
Well, some reports say government officials adjust the number so that Social Security doesn't get go up as much as it could. But again, that is just a theory. There's no proof behind that. So don't believe everything that you hear when you're hearing uh, you know, theories that, yes, the government officials, inflation is just going to completely drop. It's going to be 5 6% next month because, well, they don't want to pay Social Security recipients a higher cost of living adjustment. Well, that's not technically true. Now, it could be for some. They want to see inflation go down. I think inflation going down would just be uh, a welcoming sign because a lot of people are struggling. But is it just because Social Security recipients would get more money from a cost of living adjustment? I, I don't think so. So again, just keep that in mind. But it is true that historically, inflation tends to moderate in the third quarter. And again, you look back at the last, or not really last year, the year before, obviously those are you know, different times, but you look back over the last 15 to 20 years, that's what you're gonna see. Inflation doesn't didn't go from 3.5% down to 2%. No, it went from like 2.9% down to 2.8 or 2.7, or went from you know 3% down to 2.8, or 2.5% down to 2.4, 2.3, 2.2. It's not huge swings. So. This is the reason why many believe that inflation is going to be between nine or the cost of living adjustment is going to be between 9.8% and 11.4% for 2023. So if you have any questions on what's going on with the cost of living adjustment, you can always ask your questions down in the comment section below. But again, remember, it will be coming down to July, August, and September. Those are the three months that we have to keep an eye on because that is all that matters when it comes to the cost of living adjustment for 2023. So again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.